What's up guys, the Snowman here back with another NFL informational video right now. It's my NFL defenses explained. Uh, if you enjoyed my NFL offenses video, we're pretty much going to do the same thing today. Please give me a thumbs up if you're finding these videos to be useful. All the basics of NFL defenses, so different coverages, different formations, man-to-man uh, -man versus zone defense, everything from blitzes to cover four. Let's dive in. We're looking at NFL defenses, just like the opposing offense they have 11 players on the field at once those 11 are comprised of some combination of defensive linemen linebackers and defensive backs so cornerbacks and safeties defensive linemen generally playing closest to the line of scrimmage linebackers playing in the middle of the field and defensive backs playing on the outside and deep parts of the field for more on the positions you can check out my nfl positions explained video uh, the primary goal of nfl defenses is to prevent the opposing offense from scoring points each drive they're rushing the passer, stuffing up run lanes, making tackles, covering receivers, forcing turnovers, and more. Right now, I want to talk about the two main types of defensive coverages, man-to-man -man versus zone coverage, and we'll start off with man-to-man. -man. There's a few different groupings of man coverage, but in essence, it means that the defense is covering the opposite receivers and running backs man-to-man. -man. In this example of cover zero, each of the five defenders who aren't blitzing or rushing the quarterback, they're each assigned one player on the offense that it's their responsibility to cover five defenders on five potential pass catchers and what makes cover zero unique is that it has zero deep safeties protecting the deep area of the field so essentially all of these coverage guys are on an island they're on their own it's just them versus the receiver cover one is a little bit different because now we have less players rushing the passer but instead we have a safety guarding the center of the field that's that deep blue zone along with a linebacker covering the yellow area all the other defenders are still man-to-man -man in this situation. They just have that safety in the deep middle as a security blanket in case they get beat. Cover one, actually the most common man-to-man -man coverage since 2020. And then cover two man is our final conventional man-to-man -man coverage. This one has a really simple setup. Four linemen rush the passer. Five players man mark the five offensive pass catchers. And two safeties each cover a deep half of the field. Linebackers and cornerbacks can take more risks in this formation because they have safeties over the top who are able to guard against the deep throw. Uh, all three of these coverages so far are man-to-man. -man. Again, individual defenders man mark marking receivers. Now let's flip to zone coverage. It's a little more popular in the NFL since 2020. NFL defenses use zone coverage about 66% of the time compared to man defense 34%. With the zone coverage, the main difference is that instead of guarding a specific offensive player, now the defenders are covering an assigned zone or area of the field. If any receiver comes in their part of the field, then it's their job to cover them. This first example is cover two. So we have those two deep safeties in the dark blue, just like our man cover two only this time the rest of the field is covered zonally as well three players watching the middle of the field in yellow and two cornerbacks watching those outside flat areas in the teal colored zones cover three is the most common of any defensive coverage since 2020 almost one third of the time defenses are in cover three that number three again representing how many players are in deep zone coverage the higher the number the more conservative the defense and the more players assigned to protect against deep pass plays cover four now we're protecting against the pass even more a defense probably wouldn't come out on first down with this look but if it's third and long say third and 15 this defense could be very useful only three players rushing the QB but four players stretched across zones in the middle of the field and then four more players in the dark blue covering those deep areas very difficult to complete long pass plays against cover four our last of the common zone coverages is cover six cover six actually a combo of cover two and cover four two plus four equals six so that's how it gets the name it's not because of six players in deep zone coverage like our other examples from today cover six is a little more complicated and can be confusing for opposing offenses because it splits half the field up like cover two with only one deep safety and then the other half operates like cover four with two deep players the goal is to keep quarterbacks off balance and have certain elements of cover two and cover four so that covers man versus zone another common term you'll hear about when talking about nfl defenses is what's called a blitz this is any play when at least five or more defenders rush the passer it could be any combination of linemen linemen Backers or even defensive backs like we see in this example both safeties are actually assigned to come down and blitz the quarterback this is considered a blitz 
Again, anytime there's more than four designed rushers, uh, blitzes are high risk, high reward plays because you have a better chance of sacking the quarterback or creating negative plays, even forcing turnovers. But the flip side is sometimes you don't have enough defenders in coverage. If the opposing QB is able to get a little bit of time to throw, it could be a big play the other way. Let's finish up by looking at different defensive packages or personnel groupings. These are some of the main ones. We've got 4-3, 3-4, 4-4, nickel, dime, and quarter. Depending on how many defensive linemen, linebackers, and defensive backs are on the field, that dictates how we name the package. Starting out with the 4-3, this is a pretty standard, pretty balanced defense four down linemen representing these square shapes in this image three linebackers who are the circles and four players in the secondary those are our x's the 4-3 formation a good base defense definitely geared a little bit more towards stopping the run game as opposed to the passing game the 3-4 defense is a little more flexible for defending the pass because now we have four linebackers instead of three it's easier to drop that extra linebacker into coverage instead of a defensive lineman 4-4 now we're really geared towards stopping the run four defensive linemen stuffing up lanes and four linebackers prowling around the middle of the field only three x's meaning only three defensive backs in this grouping making it Pretty difficult to successfully defend pass plays since uh, those are typically the fastest, best coverage guys. The 5-2 formation is another one aimed at stopping the run. Now we have five down linemen with the goal of either sacking the quarterback or tackling the running back. We've got our two circular linebackers behind them and four defensive backs. Now here's where we get into the better passing defenses. Nickel formation means we have an extra cornerback or safety. Before this, all of our packages had only three or four defensive backs. Now we have five represented by our five X players that extra cornerback instrumental in defending the passing game you can put the nickel corner on a tight end or wide receiver and now the defense stands a better chance of covering the pass same kind of concept with the dime formation except now we add one more so we have six x's or defensive backs this makes it even easier to defend the pass four cornerbacks and two safeties the dime look has a ton of speed and uh, don't get me wrong you can still blitz out of the dime formation you can be a man-to-man -man, cover two three four whatever the case uh, dime just means that there are six defensive backs on the field and the last defensive package to talk about right now is the quarter defense here we take it up one more notch if you count the defenders we have three down linemen one linebacker and seven yes seven defensive backs so nickel is five dime is six quarter is seven combined cornerbacks and safeties it's the most pass defense friendly personnel grouping you can have as a defense uh, if you know the other team is in an obvious passing situation say on third and long or late in the fourth quarter and down on the scoreboard the quarter defense is an awesome look to prevent deep and intermediate passing plays thank you so much for watching my nfl defenses video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the snowman sports media for more be on the lookout for more uh, nfl coverage and uh, please leave a comment with any questions cheers